The melting point of DNA is the temperature at which 50% of the DNA has become single-stranded. This is the point of inflection. The temperature of the melting point is influenced by the complementarity, length and ratio of CG pairs to AT pairs in the sequence. There are a number of ways of detecting the amount of double-stranded DNA. Among them, the cyber green method. Cyber green is a dye which only fluoresces when bound to double-stranded DNA. Because of this property, the dye can be used to determine the melting point of the PCR product. QPCR works by quantitatively measuring the amount of double-stranded DNA present after each PCR cycle. Melt curve analysis determines the purity and specificity of the amplified product. At the end of synthesis, all of the DNA is double-stranded. This is at a low temperature and cyber green is maximally bound. This produces the maximum relative fluorescence. As temperature increases, the DNA denatures and the fluorescence decreases following the same curve as the melting temperature. The point of inflection can be easily visualised as the peak of the negative derivative of the fluorescence temperature graph. If your PCR product is pure, there will be a single peak on your negative derivative fluorescence temperature graph. In addition, when you run the product of this PCR on an agarose gel, only a single band will be visualised. Cyber green dye binds non-specifically and so can detect DNA contamination in the PCR product. Primer dimers are a result of poor primer design, excess primer or incorrect magnesium concentration. Primer dimers form due to complementarity in the forward and reverse primers. Because primer dimers are small in size, as temperature increases, the double-stranded primer dimers melt first, releasing bound cyber green to produce an early change in fluorescence peak at their melting temperature. As temperature continues to increase, the target melts, producing a second change in fluorescence peak. When the PCR products from this reaction are run on a gel, they will show only the band from the product of interest, because the primers are either too short to produce a signal, or run off the end of the agarose gel. Genomic DNA contamination comes from poor purification of RNA for cDNA synthesis, or contamination from external sources such as skin, bench tops or hair. Denaturation of the genomic DNA occurs after the melting temperature of the target due to the large size of the genomic, hence producing a second, later peak in the melt curve. This contamination results in a slow band in the gel corresponding to the genomic DNA.